We all know vitamin D helps us maintain healthy teeth, healthy bones, but new research out of the UK indicates it may have another very important health benefit to your heart. Dr. Devi, uh, still with us here, these researchers, researchers involved in this study said this was stunning. What did they find? Well, they found that people who had heart failure, so uh, where the heart is having a difficult time pumping blood to the rest of the body, that they actually had significant improvements with vitamin D supplementation. So if you think about it, you know, the heart actually, it doesn't pump everything that's in it, but it's sort of, it's sort of a reservoir. So it fills with blood that's coming from the lungs and uh, from the rest of the body, and then it pumps it out to the rest of the body. So it should be able to get about 50 to 70% of that blood out there. Now, these people with heart failure, they were actually pumping much less, like about 25% of the blood. So they had a lot of different symptoms. When they got vitamin D, that number went up to about 35%. So that's a significant yeah. increase. And we don't see a lot of changes like that with some of the medications that we have. It's very hard to get the heart to function more efficiently. Uh, so this vitamin D supplementation is kind of a miracle for those patients. But we don't know for sure if this would happen for everybody or if it's 100% due to the vitamin vitamin D because it was a small study. Where, so where are we perhaps in expanding that study and perhaps one day seeing vitamin D just be another thing we are all reaching for? Well, so there are two factors. I mean, first, they probably want to do the same study, but with a larger number of patients, right? So these are called pilot studies where you look to see if there might be an effect, and then you uh, do a larger study to see if this actually holds true in more patients. So that's sort of where we are with the research. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of vitamin D being a regular thing for people, now, most people people in our country actually have low vitamin D levels because we don't get much sunlight. We're always indoors and vitamin D comes, it's produced through sunlight. Now there's su supplementation. So if someone finds out that their bones are weak, they might get told to take calcium and vitamin D. Uh, so there's not that many dangers with taking vitamin D, but you know, we don't want to just tell people to take all kinds of sure. supplements if they might not need them. Still, when we hear experts such as yourself with the who to funk it quality to their <laughs> answers, you know. I may be reaching for the vitamins again. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think for most of us, because we work indoors a lot, it, it's not bad to kind of take vitamin D periodically just to make sure that your levels go up. Doc, we appreciate the time today. <laughs> Thanks.